This is a preposterous choice for this movement. Holy sh Wah. Ah, this man is paid by Hollywood people. Hey folks, I'm Dr. Mike Isertel. I'm a exercise and sports science professor at Lehman College in the Bronx in New York City in the United States on planet Earth in the solar system in, uh, I forget which arm of the Milky Way galaxy. And I'm also a competitive bodybuilder and the creator of the RPI Hypertrophy app. And today I'm gonna look at Bradley Cooper's training for his seminal role in American Sniper, a movie that I really, really like. Let's find out how much science there is and spread the science away from the not science. There's a term for that, it's called BS. I'm Jason Walsh, I'm a trainer in Los Angeles and I get actors ready for me. Jason, hello. Quite handsome. What am I saying? I mean it. We literally have to sit down and figure out what the characteristics are of that role, the variables involved, meaning like, are they gonna be in the desert? Are they gonna be what? heavy weight, you know, the an fuck? exoskeleton? You're gonna train someone differently because they're gonna be in the desert? Does that mean like more unstable training for slipping on sand? Ah, my brain. They're going to be carrying heavy weight, you know, an exoskeleton. They're going to be carrying heavy weight, an exoskeleton. You mean like a fucking prop that isn't actually heavy? And how physical is the role? But I like, I like how when they said it was a physical role, they zoomed in on a woman in a blue dress just kind of just jazzing. So physical. Watch me move my hips. Believe it or not, what we're doing is really helping these guys with character building. I want to enforce that character. I want them to feel so What we're doing is really helping these guys with character building. When you are training for a acting role, there is scarcely anything inside of a well-air-conditioned Los Angeles private training studio for celebrities that is going to help you get into the role of being like a superhero or a sniper in combat, anything remotely of that nature. Your job, sir, is to just get people to look a certain way and maybe be able to physically perform stunts and other things, but generally awake, competent, Adult humans without any severe injuries can do that second part. The first part is really just all about looks. I want them to feel super free of any type of psychological like hindrances. Psychological like hindrances are such a bad thing. Bradley Cooper came to me through John Krasinski and he got this big role. 225 pounds, military guy, highly respected and decorated. Bradley Cooper, 185 pounds wet, novice, never trained okay. like this before. So far I'm sold, yes, he needs to gain weight. The first eight weeks that we were doing two-a-days, I mean, we had a lot. Two-a-day training to gain weight, curious. Uh, very advanced. Well, I, I kind of want to see what, what he's doing here. Well, I decided that this was the move, the trap bar deadlift, that we were going to pretty much make the foundation of everything. Okay, so the trap bar deadlift at a off of blocks is a movement that comes close to being the worst possible exercise you can do for putting on lots of muscle safely. Why? It trains so much of the body at the same time that there's no specific muscle it pushes to its limits and thus elicits a lot of muscle growth. The leverage position you're in is to be able to lift the most weight that you possibly can with your body. So in order to stimulate a lot of your muscles so diffusely as to not stimulate any of them really well, you need to impose the maximum amount of spinal loading. And that just seems like a risk reward ratio that doesn't make any fucking sense. In addition to that, by doing only partial reps at the top end of the movement, you are avoiding entirely the deep, painful stretch at the bottom of almost every exercise that causes the most muscle growth. This is a preposterous choice for this movement. Holy sh... Wah. Ah, this man is paid by Hollywood people. There's two variables here that I can play with, and that is the range of motion. Yes, you're playing with it wrong. Started safe. And we started at a high position. We started light. Starting at a low position is not unsafe. It just feels icky because you're weak. As I see him progress and get better, we can take those down. So we got Bradley really strong. All right, this could have been worse. He could have just done partial deadlifts the entire time. Although really he is doing partials the entire time. As I still see that it's elevated. Bradley did do the partial deadlift in the movie. I do remember that as his character. And I scoffed at it then, and I continue to scoff at it now. So it's good that he lowered the range of motion, but he would be better off just starting him at a very deep range of motion. It would have provided more of a muscle growth stimulus so that he could gain more actual muscle and less other stuff that we're not interested in gaining. We actually ended up, towards the end of it, lifting a little over 425 pounds. 425, that's good. From an elevated position, I don't know how elevated it was. It's good. It's not amazing, but... That, that, 
Three cheers for Bradley Cooper and trainer. That's very impressive. You cannot fake the way 400 pounds feels when you lift it off the ground. Good news, you didn't lift it off the ground in the movie or in the scene. Who, who's, who says shit like this? He would come in in the morning, 6 a.m. We would train for an hour, hour and a half. He would go home and recover. He would come back. We'd do a lot of the volume training in the afternoon. What the hell is the and first then... training for if the volume training? Listen, guys, I could call myself an expert on muscle growth, and that would be accurate. That's me being cocky. The volume training, or training the muscles with a sufficient stimulus in order to get them to grow, is the onlyest type of training that you need to put on muscle size for a Hollywood role. Any other training you're doing is interfering with that. He's going home and recovering for the actual important workout later. He could have just started with the important workout and recovered the rest of the day and ate plenty of food and gained all that weight. He didn't need to get ripped. He needed to get big. And that's a big difference. It's not a big difference. The training is almost exactly the same. The diet is the difference. There's no way in hell that that guy was going to eat as many calories as he needed to put that kind of mass on. So we had to drink the calories. So I just progressed it week by week. to Daily try. calorie intake. Week one, it started at 2,000. I think somebody like Bradley Cooper's size probably eats more than 2,000 calories anyway. So it was a deficit in week one. Week two, 2,500 calories. It's probably more like maintenance for him. Week three at 3,000 is probably a slight surplus. Week four at 3,500 is a very good surplus. He should have just been doing that the entire time. And week five at 4,000 is probably just putting on a lot of fat and not much more muscle than 3,500 would. That's my best guess. Week six, 4,500 to just make you feel like shit and get even fatter. Amazing. Okay, so we got a little bit of insight on mostly just the partial deadlift that was happening there with the hex bar. Terrible movement for hypertrophy, maybe one of the worst. He did lower the range of motion in the end, and I was starting to feel it. Then he said, picking up 400 pounds off the ground, which never happened once. Um, I don't know much about the training plan because the training plan was never displayed. It just said volume work. The diet was funky. Uh, I just want Hollywood people to know that there are like infinitely more qualified people for this. And not to take anything away from the gentleman that is the trainer. I'm sure he has great success and he's all in Hollywood and shit like that. But uh, folks, go to school and learn things. At least watch our videos. Watch anyone's videos. Learn stuff. Four out of ten, out of the kindness of my heart, for that workout scene. American Sniper was great. I'll see you guys next time.